Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Haikal and I am the leader for our group Task Tree Project, which is Name Entity Recognition. So Name Entity Recognition is probably the first step towards information extraction that um, seeks to locate and classify name entities in text into predefined categories um, such as names, uh, organizations, locations, uh, times, uh, percentage, and so on. So this type of approach also can help human in various fields. For example, it can help us to answer our questions like which companies are mentioned in news article or which tweet uh, contain certain uh, certain name of a person so this will help us in identifying on what we actually need based on our search query so for this task we are using spacey uh, which is one of the name entity recognition types so these are the 18 types in spacey entity types <laughs> So jumping into our collab code. Okay, first as you can see we are importing Spacey into this uh, program, and you, so the goal is the of the program is to apply the Spacey name entity recognition and also print the word cloud based on the name entity recognized. So you will count the, all the name entity and put it into the word cloud okay so as you can see the first we are requesting this program to upload files from our local files so as you can see below it will prompt for the user to choose files that contain text so based on the text that the user will upload it will identify the entity and also yeah, we go through to the next and then it will assign the text to the doc as you can see here and then the first part is we print all the name entity that have been recognized from this text so the format is we will print the text itself and we'll also print the entity types or label so as you can see below it identifies seats uh, entity which is congenital identify as or org or organization septal uh, identify as name of person two one identify as cardinal 50 percent uh, identify as person and lastly mitral which identify as org or organization okay now, so for next it will um, print the whole uh, token in our documents that we are the that user just have upload so uh, here it will print the the token the first token and then the IOB which stands for inside outside and beginning of the entity and the last one is the entity type so as you can see now these are the all the token that the program able to analyze from our text that we just upload uh, so as you can see there are a lot of non-entity words uh, because the entity only have six of them so for example congenital it are defined here as or and and so forth so after we display all the token we also uh, need to uh, display the word cloud based on the entity so the step is we have to count the entity that have been identified so as you can see below it uh, identifies uh, four of them which is two organization two cardinal one person and one percent and then we create the word cloud based on the word, word count that have been generated so as you can see 
um, based on the counter which is two or two cardinal one percent and one percent you can see the biggest are cardinal and org as it have two respectively so um, the smaller one is person and percent uh, which respectively they have one each so comparing the word cloud um, that we have just produced from these uh, activities so comparing with the stemming and lemmatization word cloud it have very different uh, result because both have different uh, type of approach in extracting information so the first uh, one uh, stemming and lemmatization word cloud it actually print all the words uh, and the size is depending on the frequency for each word actually not each word is actually all the filtered words after removing the stop word converting to a small letter and so on so this word cloud is based on the frequency for each of respective word and the difference between this and our word cloud that we have just generated just now if we just print the entity type instead of printing the token itself and then uh, I think that's all thank you for your attention